to the King's Castle. We are here for a beauty contest and the girls are here getting themselves ready. Oh, aren't they so beautiful? For an entire year, all the girls who gathered put lotion all over their skin so it would be soft for the king. Oh, they put that beautiful lotion on. They would be so soft and so queenly. And they put perfume on so they would smell lovely. Oh, yes, they needed to smell good for the king. And they learned all kinds of good manners, how to eat queenly food and how to drink from fancy glasses. Oh, they were learning how to be queens. What important learning. And then it finally came time for the beauty contest and the girls all ran out so excited. They were so excited. They were going to parade in front of the king. First came the first contestant dancing in her beautiful dress. Oh, she was gorgeous. And then the second contestant came in. Oh, maybe she would be the queen and wasn't she beautiful? And finally, the king made his choice. The king didn't choose the first contestant. Although she was beautiful and very intelligent, God had other plans for her life. She became a great scientist, and she discovered a cure for a terrible disease. Aren't you glad God had a plan for your life? He loves you so much. And then the second contestant, she also was beautiful and intelligent, but God didn't make her queen. He had a different plan. She became a wonderful mama and took such good care of her kids, and she had a gorgeous voice. So she sang and led people in worshiping the Lord. Aren't you glad God had a plan for your life? I am too. Well, God does have a plan for my life, and he has a plan for yours. God chose Esther. Esther was chosen to be the queen, and Esther would be used to save her people, to save them from being hanged. God would use her for an important purpose. Do you know God wants to use us to do important things? Our job is to love the Lord with all of our heart. Study hard in school, maybe learn the piano, gymnastics, music. Let your heart and your life be shaped so God can use you. He has a great plan for you.